Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop. Here with uh, the bigger version of the M2S in the jet beam range. This is the RRT M1X Raptor. Now it comes in a nice carry case. In here you get your lanyard, you get your charging cable, warranty, user manual, everything like that. We've all seen that before, so I'm not gonna get them out. Um, you get included a 21700 battery in this and you get your recharging cable to recharge the battery. Uh, no charging port on here, uh, which makes them keep their waterproof rating up. So that is IPX8 rated. So pretty standard when it comes to the flashlight ranges, of, ranges at the moment. Um, that's two meters submersible for about 30 minutes. But getting straight into the light, really, really cool light. Uh, rated 2.3 kilometers and they're claiming 1.3 million candela in the middle there in that hot spot. So these LEP lights, so it's running off a WPT2 laser LEP. Uh, super, super throwy. All those LEPs are really, really throwy. And uh, the way they're able to focus it through this highly transparent lens at the front is phenomenal. I'll give you a little close up look of the torch because it is really, really cool. Um, super tactical looking. Jet Beam has sort of go, gone back to their tactical looking lights, which is great. You get your rubberized cigar grip. You get some nice fins, cooling fins at the front. Nice big clicky button too, so easy accessible too. It's nothing, um, nothing in the way of clicking that on and off really quick. Uh, another great feature that Jet Beam are bringing back into a lot of their other torches, uh, but they've actually put it on there at both their LEP ranges is their mode selector. So it's just a swivel of the front here. Uh, all the way anti-clockwise is your low. Then you sort of click onto medium, high, strobe and SOS. Like I said, that's got five modes on here. So really, really different to the other LEPs out there uh, that sort of I've come across anyway. They haven't had too many other modes, so it's nice to know that the that Jet Beam's able to has figured that out of how to put more modes on their um on their LEPs. Not crazy output at all, uh, 480 lumens max, uh, but you don't need a crazy output for these LEPs to get that distance. Uh, 480 lumens, they're able to get 1.3 million candela out of it, which is huge, so spotty and so hot that it's just going to throw out absolutely everywhere. But uh, a few outputs and run times. The low is running at 15 lumens, and that's gonna give you 11 and a half hours run time. Medium mode is 75 lumens, which is seven hours run time. 480 lumens on high, like I was just saying, and that's gonna give you a four and a half hours run time. Now that's all subject to this battery that comes with it. If you want to run your own 21700 and you had an external charger, absolutely fine as well. Uh, Quick two other modes, you got your strobe, which is 300 lumens for 9.7 hours, 10 hours. SOS, 300 lumens again, and that's gonna give you eight and a half hours run time. But like I was saying before, you can use any 21700 battery with it. They don't cause a lot of heat because there's not a lot of output. 480 lumens isn't crazy. Uh, you are able to just extend those run times. Uh, it's not going to get too hot. Uh, especially sort of on that medium mode as well. You're gonna run up hours and hours and hours over and over again coming out of that front. It is, yeah, it's really, really cool. So, so spotty. I'll just give you a demonstration of how tight that beam is. So this is on low and that's about a meter away. You notice there's no light coming off anywhere around here. It's just so spotty. It's not even the size of my arm. And if I just go up one to sort of a medium mode, and then you go sort of up to a high. Now there's no sort of light around here, that's just hitting it and um, sort of spilling off. So if I put it on my arm, there's no spill. Really, really tight. Um, I sort of had it out about five, 600 meters out of tree. Uh, it was sort of the furthest way landmark I could see clearly. Uh, it was sort of about Two meters wide, I could see. Uh, so clear though, like every branch. Um, not too sure how well it'll transcend on camera because it was so far away. Uh, but yeah, visually, it, it is a really, really cool beam as well. You can kind of see that laser point straight out. Uh, yeah, it's something to uh, 
to keep in mind if you're after a distance light and you didn't want something crazy big and bulky, uh, but you just wanted to get some really far distances or you had a need for it, uh, definitely keep the Jet Beam LEPs in, in mind. Uh, we'll drop a link to the M1X below. Uh, we'll also drop a link to our other video for the M2S uh, on their smaller LEP. So I'm really liking where Jet Beam are going with their lights, uh, especially the LEP ranges in all the LEP range we have. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see where they go with the lights, whether they keep them on the distance sort of spectrum or they go to more of a floody way uh, with different reflectors in there. Uh, I'm not too sure, but the distance lights are really, really something something else. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think. If you've had an LEP or you're interested in trying one, I'd love to know what you're thinking about. But yeah, as I said, feel free to like, subscribe. We've got new content coming out every week. It really helps us out if you sort of are uh, Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, knows we're on the right path. But yeah, thanks for watching this one and I'll catch you on the next video.